please. Okay. So the first step is to, of course, turn it on. And then put this uh, steel rebar uh, between these two knobs. And this rebar will, will be served as a uh, reference bar. So just um, put this thing uh, enter, uh, at, uh, on that point and then sort of uh, lift this a little bit and then make this uh, bar stable between these two nodes. And then I will rotate this bar a little bit uh, to make the number stable. So the first thing I will do is, is I will uh, record this number as well, even though we calibrate this reference rebar um, to zero. Uh, so I still record that number uh, every time uh, when I measure my specimen in case if uh, the, the steel rebar uh, this length has changed. Okay. So after that, we remove this one and we put our specimen uh, in this device. So one trick I will always do is I will mark a point um, that every time I measure this bar, I will put that point on the top. Uh, so in case there is no other uh, variables influence our result. And then similar thing as we put in the, for the steel rebar. So something like this, when this, um, specimen is stable uh, we try to gently rotate this a little bit as long as we do we do not see the number change so like this moment this is perfect see there's no number changed means uh, this length is valid then we record this number uh, um, and then we can remove this specimen so this measurement is done